Today in the Soap Thing Project, I am going to do a shave with Shannon Soap's Woodland Frost. This is in their Chupacabra Tallow soap base, which is their higher end base. This one is $20 for four ounces, and eh, it's an okay price. Could be better, but it's definitely not among the worst. Let's put it that way. We'll talk about the scent more during the shave. All it really is is... Texas cedar wood, frankincense, and menthol. It's a good combo though, especially this time of the year. I know we're like well into March at this point, but I know a lot of people, I know for a fact a lot of people are still getting not only a good frost in the morning, but some people are still getting snow. So winter is not ready to let go just yet. That's the shaving soap I'm gonna use today. The aftershave is going to be the fine snake bite, which I just pulled out of the refrigerator. I'm very curious to see what that does to the aftershave experience. So if you are really trying to piss off your wife or girlfriend, go ahead and start putting your aftershaves in the fridge. That will do the job, no problem at all. I guarantee you they're going to want to speak with you urgently regarding your life choices if you start doing that. Now, the razor, Yates Precision Merica Razor with a third use feather stainless blade. This is going to be the final shave, uh, unless I'm trying to get crazy and see how long I can stretch this. Not likely much longer than this. And the brush is going to be from HL Thater. It's my 4292 fake horn, 22 millimeter. A uh, three-band badger. It's definitely a high-quality badger now, that's for sure. Good stuff from HL Theater. It's a shame they had to go out of business. That just sucks. Okay, let's do a shave. What is up, fine folks? 36 hours growth on the face today. Plenty enough to do a shave. And here we have the Shannon Soaps Woodland Frost lathered into the Hendrix Classics and Company stainless steel bowl. I haven't used this bowl in a while. I decided to uh, to bring this thing out because I have to do another video where I demonstrate how I build a lather with really dense badger brushes. I did a video kind of explaining how to do it, but somebody a while ago asked me to actually do it. And I've been dragging my feet on it. Well, I think this weekend, I'm actually going to get around to trying to film it. I actually accidentally flooded this. I put entirely too much water in it. Plus I didn't uh, wring out my my brush nearly good enough, and so I ended up with a soap that was airy at best. So my solution to that was just add more soap, and now I've got lather forever. So let's put it on the face. Scent strength on the Shannon Soaps Woodland Frost is a quite strong 4 out of 5. The scent is definitely asserting its dominance over my nostrils. Okay, here we go. Each Precision Merica razor with a third use feather stainless blade. Let's see how this blade is doing. It's 
Still very nice. I might have to keep this in the razor and just keep on using it until it craps out. The reason I always uh, err on the side of three shaves and then done is because the weakest link, the worst blade I've ever used, last, as far as longevity, lasted three shaves. So, I just decided there's no way I can't get three shaves out of practically everything. But some some uh, double-edged blades can go a fair bit further, depending on how you take care of them. I take my blades out of the razor and disassemble the razor completely uh, after every shave. So... my blade has a chance to air out and it won't uh, develop uh, like rust particles and stuff like that on it quite as fast as a blade that maybe is left inside of a razor. I don't know. I don't know if there's some science behind that or not, but, but that's what I do. All right. So the scent on this, like I stated earlier in the video, is not super complex. It's Texas cedarwood, frankincense, and menthol. I talked to Shannon, and when I asked her for the notes, she was quite proud of the fact that she um, crushes her own menthol crystals and, you know, puts them into the soap. So, it's real menthol. Brush is shedding again. Hmm. So what does this smell like? Well, it smells like Texas cedar and menthol. Uh, the, in fact, I would say the Texas cedar is such a strong note that the frankincense just gets blown away. I don't smell frankincense at all with this. I... I smell a smoky cedar wood, and I smell menthol, which is interesting because the actual menthol effect on my face is not that strong. It's not super weak, but it's not a, a death by menthol shave, kind of like a fine snake bite shaving soap. Or like chiseled face cryogen. So that's my impression of this soap. Is that it's a it's a fairly basic smoky take on cedar wood. It's quite a quite a smoky experience. But I think that's a bit of what you'd expect from Texas cedar. I think Texas cedar was supposed to be smoky. If you have uh, Sterling Texas on fire, this is like a really lightweight version of that. If you're not sure how you feel about smoky scents, this is not a smoke fest, but it is there more than enough to notice. So do keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll just let over here. Got to get those those nooks right here, in the right below my ear, where I often have to get in there multiple times to get every every bit of hairs out of there. Okay, let's do a rinse. Very nice. Looks like a good shave. Okay, here comes the fun part. I took my fine snake bite off camera 
and I put it back in the fridge. Actually, I put it in the freezer. So let me go get that, and we're going to come back and see what happens. I'm kind of scared, not going to lie. Well, here it is, a finely chilled, fine snake bite. Let's see what happens. The fuck? Oh, there we go. Frozen shut. All right. Oh, God. This is stuff is cold. <laughs> wow. You know what? I'm going to put some more on my hand and try to just right to the face with it. Oh, wow. That is cold. Ooh, that is almost painful. Whew. Yowza. Okay, that is interesting. Ooh. It burns. It burns something crazy. Oh, uh, okay. Gotta love it. Okay, here is... Shannon Soap's Woodland Frost. Could I recommend this for a purchase? Uh, if it were still available, I might. This has a tendency to get made occasionally, and even when it is, it's not for very long. So if you're interested in something like this, if you see it come out, pick it up, because it tend, tends not to get made in very large quantities, and it tends not to be around that long, so. Something to ponder with that. Shannon Soap's Woodland Frost. Okay. Questions, comments, put them in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.